Well, I know growing up that I modeled, you know, most of my life on what I saw in movies and television. You know, it was really influential on me. If you don't see it, you can't be it. I grew up in a time where all the role models I saw in films were strong women. You know, the Fondas, uh, Barbara Streisand, and so you could believe that you could be them. You could be a reporter. You could be a rock and roll singer, like Bette Midler. Katherine Hepburn stood in front of all of America and said, you can be an independent woman. You don't have to get married. You don't have to have kids. You can find something that you love and pursue that and make that your life and your livelihood. Oh, we're going to talk about me, are we? Goody. I would watch her and i think, boy, she's feisty. She would never take this from, you know, my dad or from this man over there. She's a feisty woman who's intelligent and elegant, and I like her. Or I would look at Betty Davis and think, ah, oh, she's feisty. Look at her, fasten that seatbelt. I like the way she can be bantering with a man. Marilyn Monroe completely invented a kind of an archetype of a dumb blonde. Marilyn tried to break free from her image and became a producer and started producing films. I should come up sometimes, see me. I'm home every evening. Mae West liberated sex. She brought sex out into the daylight. That was a very big deal. Who's going to replace them? Where are our next role models going to come from? Where are our next activists going to come from? That's what we have to encourage, and that's why I say, are we making the actress an endangered species? Trailblazing women, actresses who made a difference. Tuesdays and Thursdays in October, beginning at 8 p.m. For a complete schedule and in-depth content, go to tcm.com slash trailblazingwomen.